Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 13th, 2024. Well, my goodness, we had another nice rally yesterday, but boy, was it whipsaw until that afternoon session, and we really started to pick up and move to the upside. So how about we take a look at what happened overnight, see if we can... Um, figure out how we're going to approach the market for today. First off, Asian markets were mostly lower last night. Australia was up 0 0.30 and Hong Kong was up 0.75, but we had the Nikkei down um, after they hit a nine month intraday high on the yen. And we had uh, Shanghai uh, moving lower to its lowest place in 2019. And they are in serious trouble over there in their economy. So keep a close eye on that. If we take a look at European markets, European markets are bullish across the board, um, kind of celebrating the ECB rate cut with the DAX up 0.54%. FTSE up this morning 0.19% and the CAC up 0.34%. Here in the U.S. we've got bullishness across the board as well, um, but rather modest with the Dow futures up 0.18%, 500, 0.20%, and the NASDAQ up 0.05%. Let's take a look at other places in the market. If we take a look at oil, oil's going higher this morning. If you took a look at OIH yesterday, we're just start trying to creep back up and you can see this morning trying to move higher here again on those oil holders. And if we look at our producers in here, you can see they're also moving back to the upside, trying to regain maybe some price support in this chart, but obviously, this rally back up is not super, super strong. Um, part of it is the concern over the hurricane coming into the Louisiana area and affecting some of the uh, supply chain systems here in the United States. But if we take a look at our oil, we're up 0.86% uh, or, or um, excuse me, um, 86 cents this morning. Um, to 69.83 a barrel. Brent is up 0.73 at uh, 72.69 a barrel. And natural gas is continuing a pretty surprising reversal uh, from yesterday morning, pushing up, and we may well break out of this area here. Aren't, so keep an eye on that. Let's take a look at um, precious metals here this morning. My goodness, gold um, had an amazing day yesterday, gapping up and running. And I would have expected maybe a little pullback on that this morning, but that's not the case right now. Gold futures are up $13.50 an ounce. And you can see they're actually pulling back from the high of the day just a little bit. Um, still quite a bit of energy there in gold. As a matter of fact, we're only at this point about um, uh, five and a half dollars from making $2,600 an ounce in gold. Um, we also saw a big um, shot up in silver. Silver uh, gapped higher, ran hard yesterday coming up to test this downtrend and this morning it looks like we're ready to pop and gap above that area in the chart as well copper also had a good day yesterday rallying but it really wasn't enough to take a lot of these copper plays um, back above downtrends uh, but i do think it might be worth keeping an eye on if this um, push to the upside continues to extend. If we take a look at platinum, it's up in palladium. My goodness, palladium has went up like a rocket ship ride and now breaking through up here, some resistance levels in the chart. So any consolidation rest or pullback 
this may be completing a major bottoming pattern here in palladium and something to pay attention to so watch that carefully and then if we take a look at cryptos this morning well if we look at bito bito bounced around quite a bit yesterday um, uh, just didn't get a whole lot done um, and this morning, Bitcoin is just modestly lower, down um, $138 a coin. Um, Ether, on the other hand, is up. We've got some mix cryptos this morning, so keep a close eye on that. So what does all that mean for the day? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again everyone and thank you so much for being here. I very much appreciate it. Um, today is going to be an interesting day for me. As soon as I finish this video, I've got to run pretty quickly. We have a family funeral that I need to get to and it's a, it's a good two hour drive away. So I won't be back for the rest of the day. But for uh, this morning, I wanted to try and get this video out for everyone. So let's take a look at these charts. And remember, we want to shake off that bias. We want to look at the charts for what they are, not for what we want them to be. So first off in the diamonds, last two days, major change here in the diamonds after pushing down, testing the 50 day moving average. We dropped through that 50 day moving average and even came in here, as you can see, and picked up this gap. We filled this gap in here before we reversed back up. It was a zooming move back to the upside and we followed through with that uh, to yesterday. After some wild volatility, if we look at an intraday on yesterday's move, um, my goodness, we were whipping all over the place in here um, in the market. So um, watch this carefully if the bulls can continue with that um, um, inspiration to push on higher. Then notice we've got a resistance right in here and we've got to get through that big black candle right there. And if we can break through there, well then we're looking at that opportunity that we could come right up on, on here on the diamonds and test the all time high here. And of course above that, blue sky above. Now this is the strongest of the indexes by far. When we take a look at the SPY though, we've had a nice recovery here in coming back up above its 50 day moving average and extending that yesterday in the move. You will want to notice that extension yesterday was on lighter volume and um, we uh, just kind of surged right at the end of the day up into this resistance in the chart. So let's take a look at where we're at. You can see we've got this resistance level in the chart that has proved to be pretty substantial overall. Maybe we found enough energy or find enough energy to finally break through, but we're gonna have to test this area of consolidation and resistance and see if we can pop through that. If we can, let's see if we can break the high of that candle right there um, in the chart. And then beyond that, we're looking at stretching on up here for all time highs in the SPY. Certainly doable. Um, uh, for sure. So watch that carefully if they can stretch on through there on uh, that spy chart. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, um, certainly easy to see that situation coming back down into this area here to test some support wouldn't be out of the question. And of course, beyond that, we would start to raise some fear here in the market and start pushing progressively back down through these levels. And then if we take a look at our QQQ, well, our QQQ um, obviously pushing right up into that downtrend, we still um, have some issues here just breaking through that 50 day moving average in the chart. But you'll notice here, um, we still have that downtrend in play. We still have a fairly significant level of price resistance in the chart in play at well. So this right here is kind of a double whammy of price resistance. We'll want to watch that carefully on the QQQ. Now, if we can find um, uh, enough inspiration to push on through, I'm going to suggest breaking through that resistance. We might come up into an area up into here and then push right on higher to 
catch this next resistance level in the chart. Beyond that point, well, we've got a gap right in here that could be filled. We'd have to push up into this area and then right on through to this high. So we've got a lot of work here to do in the QQQ um, for that upside move. Now, if the bears were to find inspiration, and there certainly is reason that that is a possibility running into this resistance, then pushing back in this chart, maybe retesting yesterday's low. And then of course we would start progressing back down through this process if those bears continue to find that inspiration here in the um, if we take a look at the Russell IWM, IWM continues to push back up and we're pushing back up toward that downtrend here in the chart. But this was a good move yesterday, breaking through this major resistance. It goes all the way back here to 2021 and 2022. If they can continue to maintain that um, to the upside here today, let's take a look at some of these levels right in here. See if we can push right on up through into those levels and then up into this downtrend. Um, if the bears, however, find inspiration on the day, well, not too hard to see that pushing back down into this trend break right in here and that support that's going to be critical for it to hold if it were to fail through there then i would look for that possibility that we would come all the way back down and testing um, the low of uh, thursday and then that possibility that we could move on down to new lows here in the if we take a look at our VIX, our VIX had a little pullback here on that. It wasn't substantial, but it was nice to see that they could follow through on this. And you can see pushing down into a little bit of price support here in the chart. So watch that carefully. If this uh, continues to be bullish today and break on down to the downside, then we have that possibility that we could come on down and start testing some of these areas down in here in the VIX and that would kind of uh, would likely push us to new highs in the market. However, we still have that potential in here if the bears were to find inspiration just to, st to start pushing back up. There's some resistance right across here and then of course we're going to be looking for these high levels up in here as that pushes on through so keep an eye on that as well if those bears were to find inspiration that does create that potential higher low in the vix and then if we take a look at our t20s our t2122 um, interestingly enough yesterday in that push uh, back up we are nearly in the bearish reversal zone here on our t2122 so you'll want to keep an eye on that as we stretch on up uh, long trades you might want to be considering uh, maybe taking some profits or even uh, just or just raising the stop losses in here because there is the possibility as we rally back into this reversal zone we find bearish inspiration and push us lower so if the bulls can find inspiration here today then we do have some upside potential uh, for them to squeeze into that upside but if the bears come in well you can certainly see we've opened up a big opportunity for that downside and we we know that we have to be prepared here um, uh, for whipsaws and pretty big whipsaws in this market so watch carefully for that possibility on a gap up open this morning watch for that potential for a pretty substantial whipsaw if we take a look at our t21 08 and t2108 finally made an improvement yesterday for a good portion of the day it really wasn't improving that surge right at the end of the day really helped a lot so 45 percent of the stocks back above their 40-day moving average um, so uh, nice improvement not exactly a huge bullish statement um, but we may have that opportunity to stretch right up here and get back above that 50 percent if those bulls find inspiration today and we'll run into some resistance levels up here so kind of keep an eye on that 
the bears were to find inspiration while well, keeping in mind we've created some support levels down here as well that could catch us if the bears start pushing back um, take a look at our t2107 our t2107 is also uh, trying to rally back to the upside we got back above 50 percent right there at the end of the day uh, 52 percent of the stocks above their uh, their 200 day moving average and as you can see uh, breaking back above a little bit of price resistance in the chart so if they can push that on through we've got some resistance up here in the mid 50s keep an eye on that and if the bears were to be inspired well we've got some support in here to potentially hold that and our t2101 this is actually a concern for me as we rally back up you can see in t2101 in the breadth um, we've got a head and shoulders pattern here in breadth um, showing up and we had no follow through or no increase in breadth in the market yesterday as a matter of fact it declined on that rally so i think what we saw and i've been suggesting that um, some of the big techs and things like that and um, might be finishing up here at the end of this week finishing up corporate buyback um, activities but it really wasn't enough to um, move the overall breadth of the market to the upside so you'll want to keep a pretty close eye on this rallying on declining breadth usually says we're getting closer and closer to a pullback so be careful in here uh, today in chasing to the upside if we take a look um, at our let's go here our um, earnings calendar here today, well, we don't have any notable earnings for today. Nothing um, to really be concerned about on that earnings front. Um, there are there is a one um, verified earning for today, but it's S L O T. Um, oh, excuse me, S L Q T. Um, uh, not exactly a notable um, in here select quote but keep an eye on it that is the only stock reporting um, that's verified to report today um, all day so nothing this afternoon as well um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today Oh, you know what? Let's take a look at our economic calendar. Our economic calendar, we're, we have a light day today on that as well. So if there is a chance for the market to really, to really be bullish, today might be the day for that to really um, break and um, push on up and test resistance highs and maybe even break out in the diamonds this would be the day for that to occur because we really don't have much for the market to go on and we're just so um well when the market starts moving up anymore it's just chase it to the upside and then when it starts to shift it's a race and run for the door as quickly as you can but i do want to remind everyone that at the end of this by the end of this week 50% of the companies will be in their blackout period which means our our um breadth is likely to, to continue to climb in the market and it's not uncommon that we go through in a, a very choppy period of the market as we wait for that next round of earnings so kind of keep that in mind but with import export prices not a lot of uh, things in here to maybe inspire the market one way or another but you can see on import prices they're looking for those to decline uh, to a negative two year over year coming in at 0.9 down from 1.6 export prices they're looking at that coming in at a negative one versus a 0.7 so not the best of readings here they didn't give us an estimate here on the year if we take a look um, at um, the consumer um, sentiment number they're looking for that to move to the upside from a 67.9 to a 68 very still a very low reading on uh, consumer sentiment um, no estimate on what the year over year expectations of inflation are but keep an eye on those numbers here this morning so after that a baker use rate count so not much here for the market to key off of and on earnings or economic reports so just be prepared for about anything 
So um, how about we take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, everyone, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, you can please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be click that thumbs up button, leave a brief comment. That helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who takes the time to do that. I truly appreciate it. And also, um, um, thank you for just the kind support of the channel by sharing these videos and um, those folks that um, support the channel with the buy me a coffee link you guys are truly awesome let's take a look at some of these stocks setting up remember everyone these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security do your own due diligence follow your trading rules your guidelines never ever blindly follow anyone else's trade ideas well let's start here with the financials um, if we look at our financials our financials trying to come back here you can see we had quite a bit of fear uh, coming into that, we've got Jamie Dimon suggesting that we still have major concerns in the market, suggesting that he's not even ruling out stagflation here at the moment. So you can see we had quite a little bit of pressure coming into that, but we did hold this price support in the chart. And that's a key element in here in holding that price support. Now the question is whether or not we can get these financials to go back above that downtrend. And obviously we have quite a bit of of um, stocks in there not looking good take a look at Citibank um, Citibank uh, continuing to move down um, coming into if, if it rallies back up it's going to come up into this little bit of downtrend resistance and resistance in price action we've got Bank of America just looking pretty darn weak these look to me like they could set up short if we look at our moving averages uh, Bank of America is below its 50-day. Citibank is below its 200-day. If we look at Goldman Sachs, Goldman's failed its 50. Any rally back to that 50 sets up that next opportunity short. So keep an eye on that. Our financials are not looking that great here overall in the market. If we take a look at some of our defensive areas of the market, however, we're still looking pretty darn good. Take a look at the Mondelez. Um, Mondelez Mondelez, a very bullish pattern in here. Resting, pulling back, coming back to trend. I would watch for that next opportunity in here to see if that could push on higher. I would be continuing to keep an eye on uh, PepsiCo. PepsiCo and this nice little resting consolidation in here. Bullishness coming into the market could certainly push that on higher here. Uh, Coca-Cola, although it is pulled back, still has that opportunity holding above some support in here to maybe get going to the upside so there are quite a few things here in that defensive sector stock um, take a look at uh, some of the most ultimate um, of boring um, um, clx whoops um, clorox showing a bullish consolidating pattern in here um, in that trend, I would watch for that next opportunity that that could move on higher as well. And then take a look at uh, con consumer defensive adjacent things like um, and Mickey D's. Mickey D's in here, um, that's a, a real value place for people to go. And you can see showing some bullishness in here. You probably heard yesterday they are maintaining their $5 value menu. Even though the companies or the individual organizations are screaming on it because they're not making money on that, it's requiring subsidy to keep those $5 value meals going. But people are running out of cash and they're struggling to even keep uh, folks coming in for the $5 value meals. So keep an eye on Mickey D's. But if it can pop on through here, well, every reason to believe we could push on up and be testing these resistance areas up in here on McDonald's. Then if you take a look at um, some of the utilities out here, XLU, um, also maintaining lots of bullishness and when you look into that sector there are a lot of stocks 
looking good in um, the utility sector, showing that uh, a bit of a defensive sector move pushing into uh, those kind of plays. And we can even see that when we look at gold. Um, take a look at gold. Um, that real big push in here, something is wrong when we see the market surging up, but we see gold racing up as well. There's a fear, there's something happening here in the market. So keep an eye on that as gold continues to move on up and approach $2,600 an ounce. There's something really wrong here when we see something like that happening. So keep an eye on some of those defensive sector areas of the market. And of course, I already mentioned palladium. Palladium really ripping to the outside. Any rest or pullback now sets up quite an opportunity there for palladium. If we look at the US dollar, US dollar um, is weaker here this morning. Um, and this, um, our yesterday pattern shows that we are potentially failing this little double top here in the chart. So watch that carefully. If this follows on through to the downside, we're continuing to see that weakening in the dollar. We know the Fed is going to cut rates. Um, um, coming up on uh, next Wednesday and I would expect to see that dollar continue to weaken so look for things like the commodity prices to continue to rise as long as that dollar continues to fall meaning things like even energy XLE could continue to rise if the dollar continues to weaken remember we're also under attack in the US dollar from um, China, which um, is suggested by a story in Bloomberg that China may be prepared to dump a trillion and maybe even up to a tr uh, two trillion dollars of US dollars onto the market in an attempt to improve the yuan. So watch that carefully here. We could not only see a fall, but maybe a strong fall in the US dollar. So commodity prices would look higher if that were the case. Now, remember, we also have something coming in on the end of the month. So the last two weeks of September tend to be one of the toughest months for the market. Um, we um, were in the blackout period, um, and uh, there's a lot of uncertainty um, in this period of, of the year as we head into our fourth quarter earnings. So remember, at the end of this month, we're going to be starting to see a lot of um, stories on this, a lot of uh, stuff out of Washington, D.C., because uh, the 30th of the month, the government runs out of money and the potential shutdown. So remember, we've, all, we've seen um, before when that is occurring, a lot of uncertainty in the market really starts to creep up. So watch that carefully in the last part of this month. Let's take a look at a few other places here for some stocks that could be setting up. Remember, um, as we look right in here, this NTNX, nice little tight consolidating move in here. If you guys saw my um, training class on the pop out of the box pattern um, last Monday night, well, there you go. A nice little box pattern in here setting up nice and tight with some support underneath and a potential trend coming close. Look for that opportunity and bullishness that we may push on higher in TNX. I've been keeping an eye on this PayPal and it, it zoomed up strongly, bounced around quite a little bit. You can see I placed a price alert on this um, this week and yesterday it did pop that alert. Uh, I haven't picked this up yet. I'm still wondering if this is going to see some more volatility and push back closer into that trend but watch that closely here on PayPal could be coming around and we certainly saw things like Visa um, yesterday showing some strength pushing back up after hammering um, on Thursday pushing back up and that opportunity that Visa could stretch on up here and test these highs of earlier in the year and all-time highs in Visa so I would watch that um, MasterCard also showing some bullishness here for that potential upside as well. Take a look at um, GGAL here, um, uh, looking very bullish. You can see my alert on that chart pressed up through there on uh, Thursday and then pushed right on through with a little follow through yesterday. Watch for that opportunity for that to just continue on higher here. I'd keep an eye on that. Ross stores. Um, this has been bouncing around in here quite a bit. 
pushing up into that resistance level of the chart. Um, let's see if we have enough energy in the market to follow through. That might establish our upside trend here in the chart. So watch that carefully if Ross stores can push on through to the upside. I think um, it would be a good idea to keep an eye on Fastenal. Fastenal had a lot of volatility. I had this nice little tight box setting up here for that to pop. That volatility of the market pushed us down, but boy, it has zoomed back in a really big way. I will not, I never chase these runs like this um, to the upside because they often run into some kind of trouble and then completely reverse again. So what I want to see is I want to see after breaking this trend and breaking back through this area, some kind of consolidating rest or pullback in there. And then I'm looking for that opportunity in that chart. What I just drew there, if you notice, that would be a head and shoulders pattern in Fastenal. So keep an eye on that. Um, you might want to, um, also keep an eye on John Deere. John Deere holding a nice bullish pattern in here. Um, and we're coming, if this is the trend, we're coming into that trending area. So watch for that opportunity if those bulls find inspiration to really start pushing up there in John Deere. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. Thank you so much for being here this morning and listening. I truly appreciate it. I apologize. I won't be able to answer the uh, comments here this afternoon just because I'll be traveling for that funeral. Uh, but I wish you all of the best. Have a great day. And I'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Take care, everyone. Have a great weekend.